Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe J. Jr. and welcome to another super cool pomade review. Now, I know it's been, uh, I'd say about a month since I made the last one, and I apologize for that. Uh, I plan on getting the video out within like the next two weeks, but then my course is kind of picked up and finals followed soon after. So I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading as many videos. I'm gonna set that over there, but uh, I'm back and just to let you guys know real quick, uh, just because I don't upload doesn't mean I'm not gonna, you know, respond to any of your guys' comments. Because I, uh, I have the notifications on my phone, so anytime you guys leave a comment on any of my videos for any suggestions, you can know, rest assured that they pretty much have gotten to me. Uh, I think the only exception though was I think I received a comment notification. Um, and when I opened it up and when I checked the comment itself, it said it was like a few days ago. So if that happens, you know, I'm really sorry, but I will try to get a uh, response out to you guys. So definitely keep those suggestions on hair products going. I think the next one on the list is probably going to be a Layrite pomade. I haven't decided yet. Um, anyways, on, onwards with the pomade review. Uh, so today's pomade in question, I kind of opened it up already, is the O'Dowd Multipurpose Pomade. Now, I wanted, to, I wanted to show it to you guys in the full packaging that I got it in because... I thought the, it was kind of neat to put it in like a little box. So let's open this up. Set that off over there. And first looks at the O'Dowd's multi-purpose pomade. So it looks pretty simple, nothing too uh, complex or strange. It's nice, simple, minimal design. Uh, cool thing, it's built by plants. So actually when I pulled this out and I saw what it looked like, it looked very similar to me to like the Sheer Revival uh, Crystal Lake styling pomade. I don't know if you guys see the similarities, but I kind of do. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my video where I already reviewed the Sheer Revival pomade, it's going to be right over here. But uh, yeah, I thought they both looked pretty similar, but uh, our main focus is the O'Dowds today. So let's open this up. It's a little tough. Um, it looks a little strange on the inside. Uh, let me try and make that focus. There. It looks a little <laughs> strange. Um, I don't know if the camera can pick up all the detail, but it's a little flaky. I guess it must be from the plants. It smells kind of like pine. It smells a lot like pine, actually. Very... And if not pine, it just smells very... Well, you can smell the plants, pretty much. Um, it's hard to really get an idea but for the most part it kind of smells mostly like pine so it feels it doesn't feel as hard as it looks it looks pretty dried up and cracked so let's actually get this going so it breaks apart relatively easy it's easy to get out of the container um, I think I'm gonna end up needing a little bit more than this probably two fingerfuls I don't know if you guys can see that uh, it breaks apart very easily but I do feel some flakiness there I don't know if that's supposed to be like that it's a little strange so let's start applying I don't know how you guys like to apply your guys' pomades because I know there's people out there that like to put uh, pomade on their hair like when it's damp and others who like it dry I personally prefer my hair to always be damp and that's kind of how I always make my videos just because I feel like the tug is like I just don't like the tugging of dry hair with pomades. So, so far, like, it emulsifies pretty easily. It falls apart, breaks apart easily. Uh, if you guys see those little white pieces in my hair, uh, that's not dandruff. Uh, when this thing, when I bro broke this thing apart in my hands, uh, kind of left like these little white flakes, which was a little strange. I don't know if that's supposed to be there, guys, so don't quote me if I'm like, I, I'm not trying to bash on this product is what I'm getting at. So I think we've had enough so far distributed for the most part. Actually, I think I should put some more in the back. So, so how have you guys been? Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, for those of you guys that have been commenting on my videos, you guys probably know already that uh, uh, 
well you guys have probably seen that I've been responding so if you guys have any suggestions definitely let me know or any ideas on any future content you guys would like to see because I love doing this pomade stuff I feel like it's super great uh, but if you guys would like to see me do some other sort of product reviews definitely let me know it doesn't just have to be solely pomades it can be all sorts of other things um, I think that's enough so I'm gonna get my comb we're gonna start really distributing this thoroughly with the comb but yeah guys if you guys have any suggestions on any content you guys would like to see definitely let me know um, I think Laywright has been the only one that's been added to the list I feel like that's probably gonna be my next upcoming video um, if you guys would like to see any other type of pomade or any other type of hair product uh, I think I recently ordered the Pete and Pedro sea salt spray which I'm definitely gonna test out super excited for that one I've heard a lot of good things about it and if you guys would like uh, if you guys would like to see my first attempt at using it definitely let me know I've heard it's a pretty good product but of course you know sometimes you just can't know for sure until you try it for yourself so now that I've pretty much been distributing it through my hair with the comb I've noticed one thing for sure that this thing has very solid hold or at least it has the strength to keep my curly hair down so you guys already know my classic style is side part well not side part slick back but for the most part my hair is pretty flat right now uh, usually when my pomade when any pomade I try dry my hair kind of gets a little bit of volume so uh you guys already know the drill if you guys have been here if you guys are returning subscribers you guys already know how it is if you are a new subscriber though typically the way I rate these videos or how I rate these pomades is on a scale of good bad and okay um, so now that the product's been applied you know it's already it already has a starting to get like really firm but uh, yeah, you guys know the drill. Uh, I'm gonna go through the rest of my day and I'll be back later and we will see the end result. So yeah, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, we are back. I think we're at the end of the day here. It's been like a total of seven or eight hours, I'd say. And I just gotta say, this pomade definitely put a smile on my face because in comparison to all the other pomades I've done, none have really done what this one has done like this has just it just made my day pretty much so i know i've reviewed pomades like sheer revival suavecito um barberies all those sorts of pomades and while they do hold like i'm not trying to discredit them they all hold my hair and they all do a good job but usually after like a certain duration of time whether it be like seven or six hours uh, my hair just tends to break free and this is because for all of you guys that have been subscribed to my channel from the start I have really curly hair. I just like to slick it uh, back But my hair is really curly So whatever product I tend to put in my hair despite how strong the hold is it always breaks free My curls always just break free and they just they show up everywhere no matter what pomade but this one has had enough weight and just an overall great hold to keep all of my hairs in place literally my hair looks just about the same as when I first combed it using this so you know just going off of that alone and this product well it says it has a high hold and a medium shine and it does exactly that and does it perfectly so as far as looking at this pomade from good bad or okay I would definitely say that this is a good product like I really enjoyed this you know I know it said it smelled like pine at first but I noticed it to start to sort of simmer down to the point where like I don't even smell it anymore but like I, I, I just gotta say like if you guys if any of you guys out there watching have curly hair or just hair that's really stubborn you know I would definitely say give O'Dowd's multi-purpose pomade a try it really works and dude I can't even stop smiling like I just Wow, uh, 
anyways you know just d don't take my opinion for it you know i feel like all of you guys should definitely try this out for yourselves because just like us as humans all of us have different sorts of hair types i'm just saying for me who has really stubborn hair at times and can get really annoying this just worked really well so i would definitely say you guys should try it out as well um uh other than that you know i hope you guys have an amazing day or night whatever time you guys are watching this you know i hope you guys are staying safe you know uh six feet apart face masks on hope you guys are staying healthy uh, and I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, depending on whatever time you guys are watching this. And if you guys would like to make my day even more amazing, definitely check out these videos right here and subscribe down here. Anyways, I'm Joe J Jr. and I'm out.